welcome back to another stream and or video, depending on when you're watching it. We're playing as Lord Edwell of Claw Isle, the intriguing crab. So, we just took over as him last time. If you were with us last time, or saw the last video, you will know our father died after only 18 months. He was, um, he was, um, killed by a lynx. Very, on a bear hunt. He was hunting bear, and he was killed by a small small cat. Those things aren't big at all. But anyways, Lord Edwell pr gives us the chance of playing somewhat differently, because the lord before him was also, or lord before his father was also a steward, Lord Crispian the Old. So, uh, Edwell being an intrigue build gives us a chance to play a little differently. So, we will be doing that, and last time, our wife also died under s suspicious circumstances. And, yes, that was us. We did that. Um, she wasn't giving kids too often, and we found one that would give us kids very often. So we will use that. Boom, bang, bong. We are married. And we'll use that to build more uh, alliances in the future. And I don't really remember why I had these guys pinned, but that's Lord Harold. Not Lord Harold. He's got the double traits. A couple kids. He's maternally married to our sister, Nada. And let's go ahead and unpause, and we will get her going. So I had just started up a stream um, around, I think it was like 1 o'clock. I just booted it up, 1 o'clock my time, I'm in Albuquerque. And, oh, what is this? Hold on. I had something pop up on my studio settings. I'm out. And let's go ahead and unpause, and we will get her going. So we look around, and I think it's about time we expand. And would you look at the name of this? And would you look at the name of this duchy? It would be great for us to take first, I think. It's Crab Shore. So it'll take f four years? You are terrible. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Okay, can we murder them? So we are going to start the scheme, but I do think it'll be faster to murder <laughs> the Septon and get a new one in before four years happens. So we'll do the support scheme. We'll come and see how much. 79% and 9 79 chance of success, 94% chance that we get revealed. So not too shabby before four years happens. So we'll do the support scheme. We'll come and see how much. 79% and 79 chance of success, 94% chance that we get revealed, so not too shabby. I think we might uh, go ahead and do that, and we can also, to increase the chance, we can come over here and have our wife, wife help. Now, she only has three intrigue, so is that really going to do anything? Mm, it raises it like 8%, so we'll go ahead and leave it. So that's our plan right there. We are still, our two territories are Crab's Return and Dire Din, and that is because we don't have many uh, stewardship points, so we can't hold many holdings, and... Yeah, that's alright, we don't really need too many, the two best ones are ours. We do need to focus on trying to get a new duchy building in each of them. Those are more powerful buildings than these ones, they provide better upgrades and boosts. What is this? The Scholar of Claw Isle, my son and heir. Damon and I are walking in Claw Isle, we're going to come across some local scholars. Go ahead, Damon. Go get smart. But these ones provide pretty good boosts. Not sure which ones I'll do, I'll probably put a lighthouse out here on Claw Isle. Anything good? I can ask my faith for gold, that's very good. We can get 100 gold from him. I'll bring us up to 269. Let's actually pause it real quick and see what we can uh, make in Dire Din. We'll construct the last building here. We're not going to do hospice, because I actually have plagues turned off, because one of the most recent updates made plagues an absolute nightmare. So we're not going to do that. Don't need to deal with them. <clears throat> Cattle pasture. Not sure which ones I'll do. I'll probably put a lighthouse out here on Claw Isle. Anything good? I can ask my faith for gold. That's very good. We can get 100 gold from him. We'll bring us up to 269. Let's actually pause it real quick and see what we can uh, make in Dire Din. We'll construct the last building here. We're not going to do hospice, because I actually have plagues turned off, because one of the most recent updates made plagues an absolute night. Cattle pastures isn't bad. It provides taxes and le levies. Same with hunting grounds, but I think we have somewhere in here that uh, provides that. Where's this do? Spearman, Spearman, Skirmisher, Skirmisher, Hillside Field. Does this provide any Skirmisher toughness? Does this? No. So I was seeing if it apply, if the, any of those apply to any uh, boost to stationed men at arms. So I was seeing if it apply, if the, any of those apply to any... Uh, boost to stationed men at arms because sometimes that can be pretty helpful i'm just i'm just kind of looking i think i'm going to do apiaries i think we want to try and develop our gold a bit more and apiaries is one of the best ways to do it and i think it'll eventually yeah development growth which i'm not quite sure what development growth does but i know it's good and you want more of it <laughs> it's pretty much how i see it i think so, needle water will be done before too long. And that still leaves us with a good bit, and let's see if there is an activity we can do. Can we... Ooh, we haven't done this yet, so we'll hold a grand tourney. A regional tourney should do. Only per possible participants from neighboring lordships will be invited. That's fine. That's cool. And I will, of course, watch every joust. 
And now the cool part is you can gamble. Yes, and I don't think I have enough gold, hopefully. Hopefully I'll have enough gold. And if not, I will, you know what, just make sure I have enough gold to gamble. We're going to come in here and break. <laughs> uh, the, and I will, of course, watch every joust. And now the cool part is you can gamble. Yes, and I don't think I have enough gold, hopefully. Hopefully I'll have enough gold. And if not, I will, you know what, just make sure I have enough gold to gamble. We're going to come in here and break <laughs> uh, the lynx fangs. We're going to unequip them and destroy the artifact. It'll give us 80 gold. And watch, this is how you become rich. We're going to unequip them and destroy the artifact. It'll give us 80 gold. And watch, this is how you become rich. This is how you get lots and lots of money. So check this out. We got some. We got 97 gold right now. In a month, it'll be up to 100. It'll be up to 100 here soon. We're about to get it going. I think the tournament's being held in Crab's Return. So, and we will continue to try and get this tournament started. Fortune favors the bold. Preliminary rounds for any of the many brave competitors are left licking their wounds. And I'm not sure if we're actually participating in it. Our scarred up self. We have a good amount of prestige. We have 27 prestige, which isn't too shabby. Especially since we're not martial focused. Here we go. Here we go. Our first option. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. We got... These are our options. We got Meester, or Master Monford of Birdmill, 20 Prestige, and 10 Marshall against Lord Jack of Sweetwater Pass. Against Lord Jack of Sweetwater Pass. 17 Prestige, 0 Marshall. And I'm thinking we go with the Master. I don't think Lord Jack has this. We'll bet, bet a coin on there. Master Monford. Okay, we'll bet 20. Did we get it? There we go. There we go. 37. 37. Let it ride. Let it ride. Here we go. Here we go. We'll check out our next one. This is our Knights. Benithion Waters. 20? Okay. We've got a little powerhouse here. 20, uh, 20 prowess. I think I've been saying prestige against 15. I think we're definitely going to go with our knight Benithion. Place a bet. Bang, bang, bang. If he wins this, you get a lordship, buddy. Mm, there you go. 20, uh, 20 prowess. I think I've been saying prestige against 15. I think we're definitely going to go with our knight Benithion. Place a bet. Bang, bang, bang. If he wins this, you get a lordship, buddy. Mm, there you go. Next land we conquer is yours, my friend. It is yours, my friend. He's a bastard. He's intelligent. He's got a couple siblings. Like him. I like him. He's got chops. I think he's, he'll do good. So we started with 100. We're at 132 now. Or we started with 97, I think. Lord Jorman and Courtney enter the list. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. An albino with one prowess. All right. This is my spy master. What? I, he's got some wacky traits. Some herbalistic, holistic, crazy stuff. Or anyways, give him that lordship. Oh, he's getting that lordship. He has earned it. It'll be uh, right over here. Is I'm trying to show it. It'll be right here. It'll be crabs. Sure. Don't know how... And honestly, they might get vassalized before we get there. But he'll have our next one either way. If not, we might go out here and try and get this part of the claw and move in from that direction. But anyways, we'll continue. We'll continue. Lord Dorman, the albino with one prowess against our spy master, Courtney Paybridge with 11, the holistic master. He sees the shadows through the smoke and the ayahuasca. All right. I think Courtney has it. The other dude has one prowess. Let's go. So far, I think we're 4-0 on the bets. I think I've hit all of them so far. Here we go, here we go. Harold and Trex, alright. Our boy T-Rex is uh, getting into the list. And Harold, 31. That's going to be hard to beat. Against 16. I am going all in on Harold. We're going Harold with the pink slip. That's what I thought. Trex is kind of a bum. That's alright though. We move. We move. Okay, 11. Alright, Benithion. Benathon. I think you got it. Let's go! So far, I think we're 4-0 on the bets. I think I've hit all of them so far. Harold and Trex. Alright, our boy T-Rex is uh, getting into the list. And Harold. 31. That's going to be 31. That's going to be hard to beat. Against 16. I am going all in on Harold. We're going Harold with the pink slip. That's what I thought. Trex is kind of, That's what I thought. Trex is kind of a bum. That's alright, though. We move. We move. Okay, 11. Okay, 11. All right, Benithion. Benathon. I think you got it. I think you got it. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, next one coming up. Master Monford and Herald. All right, next one coming up. Master Monford and Herald. 20? I think Herald has like 31. My brother-in-law, not his wife. Good for nothing. And of course, it'd be more exciting with a coin on the line. 
So let's get in here. I think Harold, we're going with Harold. I think Harold might actually win the whole thing. With that being said, he'll probably lose here. Okay, okay, Harold. 32, gain that 32. That's a 12 gold profit. Okay. All right, this is, this is the Clash of the Titans. Benathon versus Harold. Now, I'm not sure. I think Harold's okay. All right, this is, this is the Clash of the Titans. Benathon versus Harold. Now, I'm not sure. I think Harold's got this. Harold's got this. For sure. You know, I mean, is that the end of it? Is that the whole tourney? It is. It is. We ended up making 80 gold. We almost doubled. Oh, a bit more than 80. But we almost doubled our um, gold tally. We started with 97. We're at 181. Truly a tourney for the ages. So we made... It cost 125 to put the tourney on. So we almost made our money back. So not too shabby. We'll take that. We do not mind that at all. Bro, Waters had a run. Yes, he did. Waters is gonna, uh, Waters did well. Waters earned himself a good spot. Is he good enough to come on our council anywhere? It doesn't look like it. Harold did quite good himself. Benathon, I think I pinned him. Bro, Waters had a run. Yes, he did. Waters is gonna, uh, Waters did well. Waters earned himself a good spot. Is he good enough to come on our council anywhere? It doesn't look like it. Harold. It doesn't look like it. Harold did quite good himself. Benathon. I think I pinned him. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. He doesn't like me very much. He's married to someone. But I think he's quite good. He's. I think he's quite good. He's promising. He's young. He's got potential. Our man Benathon. Should we raise him to nobility? Uh, yes. I think if we give him. A holding, I think it'll give him a... a ooh, our wife is pregnant. She has a dumbass name. Yes, I mean, actually, that is kind of cool. I like names that have a... <laughs> that are kind of weird. Um, but, yeah. I'm th pretty sure we'll... <laughs> that are kind of weird. Um, but, yeah. I'm th pretty sure we'll offer him a knighthood for that. For that good showing. That doesn't cost us nothing, but a little bit of prestige. And... So it will give them a proper surname, and I think they will adopt the surname of the province they're given, but I can also raise them to nobility, and that will also make them pick like a proper surname. So we'll actually do that as well. We'll give him for his good showing. So he's now Sir Benefin Waters Valstock, and he'll get that bastard founder trait. <laughs> so we'll actually change that around like we always do with some custom people. Randomize, 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 randomize. They're all terrible. And so last night we were looking through trying to find more no trying to find more crab uh sigils and we couldn't find any other than the ones we already have so as we do we got to make him a crab there we go i like that there we go valstock we will make him um mm, yeah that's fine valstock yeah that's fine valstock we can always come back to it and name it something else courage is love that's a bit silly there we go so got so got an, and he will be the next one to get landed Benathon Valstock. And as we can see, we'll go through and look at our other ones we made. We got Tysiris. We got Ragaroon, lobster with a bunch of multicolored crabs. We got Scotteris. We got Pointside. This is after Oak Range. And this one was already there, the crab. And feel free to put in the chat any names or recommendations or anything like that for the crab people. Now, Giant's Lance is probably... And feel free to put in the chat any names or recommendations or anything like that. For the crab people. For the crab people. Now, Giant's Lance is probably going to be a problem for us. We're going to need to get... We're going to need to get... We're going to need to pretty much double our... Our levies to really be able to take them on right now. And the way I'm thinking we do that, because since Dusk and Dale has kind of cut us off... The Dark Ones, we either, and they're around the same size, so there's no real point in fighting them, because we're going to end up fighting Giant Slants at some point. We might have to take Dragonstone. They don't have any allies, they're weaker than us. We have quite a few allies, being uh, the Durandans, not yet the Baratheons. Oh, what is this? They're fighting a war. So it's someone Swiss Spears Tarth and the Storms and Clan on the Lordship. Why didn't you call me? What, what are you doing? I'll be there. Here I come. As long as they don't have more troops than me, because if they have more troops than me, I'm not coming. Sword Sullen, Swiss Spears, Tarth, and the Storms and Clan on the Lordship. Why didn't you call me? What, what, what are you doing? I'll be there. Here I come. And so the, between the two armies here, we should be able to smash that, that Tarth army. So we're going to move towards 
uh, even fall. Because I don't because I don't want to get caught out by these guys. And I did. Ah, we got smashed there. Yep, we'll be sending our boys home. Absolutely, absolutely wrecked us. Lost two thousand men. And defeat my war contributions. I do still get uh, thirty prestige from that. So we'll take that, I guess. We'll disband all our troops, and let's do that. We we know that they can uh that they can uh be pretty good. They just beat us in a war. So if you can't beat them, join them. The Swift Spur. What is this? I think that's uh Knight Knight my squire. Trex Celtigar. There you go. Young Trex, my brother. Married the Swan Girl, father of Cheeto. <laughs> and we keep good. Good for him. My brother is knighted. Very happy for him. And can we plan a pilgrimage yet? These are my favorite two. And we keep good. Good for him. My brother is knighted. Very happy for him. And can, can we plan a pilgrimage yet? These are my favorite two. And we can't. Okay, here we go. The wilderness can be a very dangerous place. Do we take him out? It looks like it's... Haha, -ha, perhaps commoners are... It looks like it's... Haha, -ha, perhaps commoners are not so useless. So we take out <laughs> our second septon. Let's see if our third one is any better. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh my goodness. 21. Mm -mm. And he doesn't like me, so we will start. No, we'll do that after uh, we finish our seduce scheme on our wife. And we will grant a pardon on her. And I think that's probably because she's pregnant. Which is not good, because that might be ours. That might be our little kid. But we'll see if she uh, announces that when the kid is born. In a few months here. But anyways, we're still working on that Crab Shore Lordship. Not going to spend that money on the pilgrimage quite... Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to hold on to the money. We'll do a pilgrimage after we get Crab Shore. we got a foothold. Because they're really... Anyways, we're still working on that Crab Shore Lordship. Not going to spend that money on the pilgrimage quite... Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to hold on to the money. We'll do a pilgrimage after we get Crab Shore. we got a foothold. Because they're really going to be a pain since they've grabbed the Tangled Shore and a couple of those other spots. But that's alright. We don't necessarily need to grab these. We could just do like a low a low rise empire. Because we could grab Dragonstone as well. Which is what I've been debating on. We could move our capital there to Dragonstone. It's a pretty cool custom model. But then we could also form the Kingdom of Dragonstone. Kingdom of the Claw, and then that would leave us one more kingdom to grab, and then we could form our custom empire. So that's what I'm kind of leaning towards. We're going to have to get, um, let's be entertained. It was great, wasn't it? So that advances our seduce scheme. So we're going to have to get part of, we're going to have to get a second kingdom soon anyways. And I'm thinking, why not go ahead? Okay, Bastard's Born. Eon. I must be very careful about this. Little Eon Waters. We'll make him strong. You'll be a soldier. So, as I was saying, we gotta get two kingdoms. Because it, it doesn't see it yet. But, we'll do the Kingdom of the Claw in this one. There's a couple other smaller kingdoms. Like you can do the Kingdom of the Stepstones. It's probably the Eon. I must be very careful about this. Little Eon Waters. We'll make him strong. You'll be a soldier. So, as I was saying, we gotta get two kingdoms. Because it, it doesn't see it yet. But, We'll do the Kingdom of the Claw in this one. There's a couple other smaller kingdoms. Like you can do the Kingdom of the Stepstones. It's probably the second smallest, but there is a lot of little territories in there. And they can get pretty strong. 3160 between those guys. I would think they'd actually be a little stronger, but not too worried about them. We'll get to that when we get to there. But yeah, where we could go for the Vale. We could push all the way up through the Giant's Lance, try and take their capital from them. And that might actually be a decision for later tonight. We probably won't get to that this stream. Maybe tonight I plan on doing another stream for a couple of... But yeah, where we could go for the Vale. We could push all the way up through the Giant's Lance. Try and take their capital from them. And that might actually be a decision for later tonight. We probably won't get to... And here it was... Is we're united in marriage? We're not united... We're not united in heart. Seduce ye Lady Yasmi. So we'll come in here. We'll just look over some of our territory. But as I was saying, we were... Uh, starting up the stream, we just started, I think it was literally on 20 seconds when I see the mailman come over and drop off a package. And I had ordered one of those, like, viral TikTok monitors, the Arzopas. I ended up getting it for, like, $55. 50, it was 56 and some change. But I'm using it right now, and it's pretty nice. I'm liking having two monitors again. 
it's very nice to be able to see my game. I have my studio, my OBS studio up there. I got my YouTube chat. Because before I was having to use my iPad <laughs> on the side and just watch it to see what the chat was saying. Not that the chat is popping or anything, which is fine. It's cool. What's this say? A ransom? No, I'm not paying for Simon. You can kill him for all I care. Yeah, I don't want that dude. But yeah, um, so now it just looks a little better. The only thing is, the stand for it is not... Yeah, I don't want that dude. But, but yeah, um, so now it just looks a little better. The only thing is, the stand for it is not... Just not very good. It's not a very good stand. I need to go find, like, a... Maybe, like, a large tablet stand or something. Because it doesn't have, like, a mount or stand to it. But that was some good news that popped up. Our wife is pregnant again. Which is great. Two months in and wild harvesters have been constructed in Dire Den. That is going to be the apiaries we tried to construct a while ago. And when we go to the next station, they will give us a little bit of development growth, which is fantastic. But yeah, so far, really liking the Arzopa monitor. Came in like a nice clean little box and stuff. Came with all the cables individually packaged and wrapped and stuff. And they're pretty decent quality cables. They're not like the cheap little like six inch ones, which is nice. Those things always frustrate me. They used to come with like vapes and all that. Sometimes like third party controllers would come with like uh, a USB-C cord that was like 18 inches or a foot long and you can't really do anything with it. I used to, when I had a PS4, I'd be doing that all the time. Have to sit like five inches from the TV. But anyways, our claim is developing here. We've got five months left on the Lordship of Crabshore and immediately after that we're going to go to Wicked Inn. We are immediately going to there. Hmm, someone's trying to kill my courtier, Alyssa. We don't really, really, we don't really care about her. I don't think she really does anything at the court other than being the victim of schemes. And so yeah, we're just gonna kinda let that happen. If that happens, it happens. Don't really care. How many months has it been? And honestly, someone's trying to kill my courtier, Alyssa. We don't really really we don't really care about her. I don't think she really does anything at the court, other than being the victim of schemes. And so yeah, we're just gonna kinda let that happen. If that happens, it happens. Don't really care. How many months has it been? And honestly, we'll go to the next tick. We'll make it a bit faster. Just until we get that claim done. Which shouldn't be too much longer now. Especially on that third speed. And I normally like playing on that second speed just because I miss a lot. <laughs> I try and see it shouldn't be too much longer now. Especially on that third speed. And I normally like playing, I normally like playing on that second speed just because I miss a lot. <laughs> I try and see things, but then like like this, that'll just pop up and I won't look at it. So we will go and increase the control somewhere else. We'll go to Bronze Holm. Eight months, that shouldn't take too long. And hopefully by the time he's done with that, this will be ours, and we can just send him over there and try and get him to put some control over there. And let's see if we have a better person, actually. We do. Harold of Winsington. So he will be our new marshal, and it'll only take seven months now. It'll be a bit faster. And this game discovered. Whatever. It'll be alright. That won't be the end of the world, I don't think. I don't think it was targeting us. It might have been. <laughs> but we just clicked through. Okay. Our boy. We're not naming him Eggwell. No, no. The character, the side, the side characters, the tertiary characters, they don't get cool names like Edwell. We'll name him Plumpkin. Actually, no, we'll name him, yeah, Plumpkin. We'll name him Plumpkin. Actually, no, we'll name him, yeah, Plumpkin. Much better. I think that is much better. Plumpkin Saltigar. And you can be strong. Who will your guardian be? Harold Winsington. That sounds like a great choice. Any good alliances for us? You want to make? Old Town. 7600. That's not shabby. What size did I get? I got the 15.6. I can send you the link. It's the one, if you go in and look at the Arzopa shop on TikTok, like on the TikTok shop, it's the monitor that has like 35,000 orders. Or at least it did when I ordered it. And then like all their other, other monitors only had like a couple hundred or a couple thousand. And it was the one, I was like, oh, and it gave me, like, some coupon or something. But it's pretty cool. I think it would actually work for your setup quite nicely, Mr. Mr. Jeff. Uh, the shop. Your orders. They come delivered. Um. I don't know how to, say, how to share it. You'd think they, she's washed. Nope, don't want the bleeder. Clubfoot, bleeder, don't want either of them. Anyone Cool. Any cool cocoa? Seventy-five percent risk of being inbred. Do we risk it? Risk it for the biscuits? Gwenda, who are you? I think that's probably the heir. That's the heir's daughter. And you know, we'll just wait for him. Nothing wrong with waiting. You know what I mean? 
Nothing wrong with being patient. Spouse is acting on my behalf. Yeah, it's fine. Give me that prestige. Nothing wrong with being patient. Spouse is acting on my behalf. Yeah, it's fine. Give me that prestige. See, it's on. How much did that cost? 57. Not bad at all. We definitely could have gone on that pilgrimage. But we move. And look, immediately, we need to put it on Wicked in. Two years. So we will immediately declare war. Look, all these kids. That's four potential alliances. But since you're dumb, since you are dumb, we will take your stuff. Since you are dumb, we will take your stuff. And we're going to move back down to two. Mm, what is your deal? And we'll call you to help us. No, we're not. We're going to try and save our prestige because we're almost at the point where we can uh, buy the establish the tradition I want. So you have a couple different culture, like your culture has a couple different traditions. Each one does like a different stat boost. And we can establish a new one soon. And the one I want is Practice Pirates, where we can go raiding. What is this on? Seafarers. I don't want to control, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Nah, I mean, that one's not bad, but we want the Practice Pirates, where we can go raiding. Which are definitely what we want. We want to establish the Westerosi Valyrian pirate culture. Ooh, I just bumped the mic. That's unfortunate. The wife of our secret bastard, or the mom of our secret bastard, has died. I gain nephil I gain nephilip fighter, which means I think I can beat up on peasants. But that's it. That's about it. And so we will just keep doing that. We're sieging their land. It's going to take six months, and there's nothing they can really do unless they start making some alliances. They don't really have any real hope of beating us right there. And we'll just kind of murder scheme power plus thirty percent. Excellent. That is the one we wanted. And I might even start trying to murder Lord Ronald. Try and maybe I can get a su succession crisis to happen over here. Maybe that'd make fighting them a little easier. Same with Duskendale. He's got eleven thousand men right next to us. That's not something we really want. We could also try and kill some of his, like if we murder his heir, potentially. That could also be something to help throw them off. Throw a little succession crisis into the mix. Anything to kind of help give us an advantage, because sometimes when a new ruler pops up, they uh, all the vassals kind of hate them, because they're like, "Oh, let me get some power, let me let me reach." But that's not the case. We'll probably need to upgrade our schemes a little better, because he does have quite a bit of land. We're gonna zoom out here and just see like what's been popping up. What are some of the powers going on? Okay, that's great. He increased control in Bronzeholm, so we'll set him out to do that again somewhere else. We'll do it right there. Go ahead and knock that one out. And I got a burp coming. Excuse me. Here we go. And bada bing, bada bing. So some of the big players that are starting to emerge, Castamere, it seems like they almost always beat the Lannisters out for like the number one power in the West. For whatever reason, I think their starting county probably is a bit better than Casterly Rock. Yep, they vassalized the Lannisters. We come over here, and it looks like the Ironborn are kind of expanding into the West. Is that what this is? Yep, the Good Brothers, which is kind of interesting. You'll sometimes see the Ironborn just kind of like eat up the sides. We got the Barrowlands, Winterfell, Carhold is kind of... <laughs> Kind of looking a little crazy. Here we go. And bada bing, bada bing. So some of the big players that are starting to emerge. Castamere. It seems like they almost always beat the Lannisters out for like the number one power in the West. For whatever reason, I think their starting county probably is a bit better than Casterly Rock. Yep, they vassalized the Lannisters. We come over here, and it looks like the Ironborn are kind of expanding into the West. Is that what this is? Yep, the Good Brothers. Which is kind of interesting. You'll sometimes see the Ironborn just kind of like eat up the sides. We got the Barrowlands, Winterfell, Carhold is kind of <laughs> kind of looking a little crazy. We'll come down here. We got Duskendale, Giant's Lands, the Twins, kind of spilling into the Vale a little bit. Mm, the Torrentine, High Garden, Bitter Bridge. It's, High Garden normally doesn't uh, break out. They normally get conquered by someone. So I'm kind of surprised to see them. But anyways, it has been I think 27 years. Yep. And that's kind of those are kind of the powers that we're working with right now. We're no slouch, but we're not nearly the strongest one in the bunch yet not yet i don't think any kingdoms have probably popped up yet lots and lots and lots of high lords but i don't think any kingdoms maybe when we look out maybe i don't think anyone's really gotten enough i think one of these guys will probably be the first what's dorn looking like so the danes are kind of the danes actually might be ones to announce a first kingdom they've got everyone else is kind of like in their original duchy but other than that so I'm over left the prison. Great. Uh, other than that, everybody's not too strong other than the Danes. We've got a couple kids out. Any sword of the mornings, the shy, Blackstar, the clever. 
Doesn't look like it. Lord Joffrey. Who's that trait? Equal Reveler. Very interesting. So we come down here. What's this? We've captured that. Prisoner taken in the siege. And I think if we come over here and just smash them, we should probably win this war pretty soon. And if not, we'll just have to occupy one of their castles. It's not like, again, it's not like they can really do anything to uh, to really beat us. So, blah, 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 473, 383, 298, we're destroying them. Harold is doing great at leading our army, and our wife is pregnant. I guess they were celebrating the win. And the war is won. Enforce the demands. Crabshore is ours. We have branched out. We will disband our armies immediately. And like I said, we're going to give that to Benathon Baustock for his performance in that tournament. I was very proud of him. thought he did great. And if he dies... It'll just go to Alec. We've captured that. Prisoner taken in the siege. And I think if we come over here and just smash them, we should probably win this war pretty soon. And if not, we'll just have to occupy one of their castles. It's not like, again, it's not like they can really do anything to uh, to really beat us. So, blah, blah, blah. 473, 383, 298. We're destroying them. Harold is doing great at leading our army. And our wife is pregnant. I guess they were celebrating the win. And the war is won. Enforce the demands. Crabshore is ours. We have branched out. We will disband our armies immediately. And like I said, we're going to give that to Benathon Baustock for his performance in that tournament. I was very proud of him. thought he did great. And if he dies, it'll just go to Eleanor. And I think it'll then go to us or one of his kids. Who knows? Prudence, maybe. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. <laughs> I can ransom... Oh, what is this? Exit that. Actually... Give us more troops. Thank you very much. We'll raid some him. We'll take 10 from that. And actually, we'll check that again. Check the alliances. Lord Nestor of Runestone, thank you for the alliance. And Sweetport Sound. That's actually very nice to get those two alliances in. So that should actually significantly bring our power, power level up when we get those two alliances. I think Lord Nestor had 6,000 men, and the Sweetport Sound ruler had 1,800, I think. And good thing about winning this, it also significantly reduces the time it'll take to get Wicked in. Hopefully we'll be able to get it before the Giant's Lance, who are... And actually, we'll check that again. Check the alliances. Lord Nestor of Runestone, thank you for the alliance. And Sweetport Sound. It's actually very nice to get those two alliances in. So that should actually significantly bring our... So that should actually significantly bring our power, power level up when we get those two alliances. I think Lord Nestor had 6,000 men, and the Sweetport Sound Ruler had 1,800. I think. And good thing about winning this, it also significantly reduces the time it'll take to get Wicked in. Hopefully we'll be able to get it before the Giant's Lance, who are quickly, quickly approaching. Which I really feel like we're going to have to deal with them or Duskendale before too long. I think we should be able to deal with both of them, but as always, we will see. Ooh, Weston McKinney got a 7.2 rating. So the impressive Lord Edwell, marvelous news, marvelous news, marvelous news. Thank you, thank you. Alliance form with Lord Tristan. Very nice. He's no longer the master of the hunts. That's, that's okay. Actually saves us a little bit of money. So the impressive Lord Edwell. Marvelous news. Marvelous news. Marvelous news. Thank you. Thank you. Alliance form with Lord Tristan. Very nice. He's no longer the master of the hunts. That's, that's okay. Actually saves us a little bit of money. Which we love to... I think I'm going to go ahead and plan a hunt here. Because we're getting so close to being able to establish a tr tradition. And a hunt will give us a little bit of boost to help get there. We'll plan the hunt help get there. Plan the hunt. No holding. No holding. No holding. And you know what? I think I will go ahead and actually get a master of the hunt before we do this. Yep, had to reset. Master at arms. Master of the horse. Master of the hunt. Harold Winsington. He's pretty... Right, we'll go Trex. They're both excellent. So then, after we do that, we'll go right back into what we were doing. It's planning that hunt. Plan hunt. Confirm. And you know what? We'll go out to Soothfield and we'll try and sneak in a couple customized route. We'll try and sneak in a couple spots to see if we can uh, get some experience points. Why don't we? Which I think all the ones around us might have been hit already. It looks like it. We can go here. We can go to the Whispers and get some Marshall. That's definitely in range. We'll go to Claw Isle and we'll go to the Whispers. What else? Anything else nearby? Anything across? Hmm. Anything up here? This is probably going to be a bit too far for what we're really looking for, like if we were to go up to the sisters. So we'll just do that. We'll get a hundred marshal for that, which is not bad at all. 
I hope it goes well. That's a good... Follow that duck. We have to. What a wild duck chase. I just about look to keep the duck in nearby shrubbery. It starts wilding off, blah, blah, blah. Smile at the duck. It flaps into its wings and flies away. And it stressed us out. Guess we couldn't hold... T uh, guess we couldn't handle that anymore. That's alright. We'll let Corwin eat it. In on no plant bliss for five years. Which, that's great for him. A trip to the brothel would relieve some stress. I must sequester myself to avoid temptations. But could, but I hope it goes well. That's a good... Follow that duck. We have to. What a wild duck chase. I just about look to keep the duck in nearby shrubbery. It starts wilding off. Blah, blah, blah. Smile at the duck. It flaps into its wings and flies away. And it stressed us out. Guess we couldn't hold... T uh, guess we couldn't handle that anymore. That's alright. We'll let Corwin eat it. In under plant bliss for five years. Which, that's great for him. A trip to the brothel would relieve some stress. I must sequester under plant bliss for five years. Which, that's great for him. A trip to the brothel would relieve some stress. I must sequester myself to avoid temptations. But could become a real clues. Or just bite my lip and stay focused. I think we'll do that one for now. Since we are still pretty young, we don't really want any of those crazy negative traits quite yet. If I were to pick out of those two, we would have gone into the brothel. Who is this? Is it worth letting him rest and recover? Yes, it is. We'll let him rest. I feel like every time we go on a, uh, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. If we're a little late, uh, they'll, they'll be fine. We stop here for a few days because the boys are sick as we make our way to the hunt. We are kind of stressed. Am I, is this the character that was athletic? No. I think it was him, but he only lasted 18 months. Which, I need to go ahead and edit that video, which I think I'll be doing Monday. Is edit all those streams together and make... Uh, a bit of an edited version that's not so gross. Alright, Master John assembles the party. Let's see what we can do. Let's get out there. We could hunt a boar. Which I think we're going to do. That's going to be the most prestige. The other options were a fox and a stag. And we are here for... Oops, stepping on my laptop power cord. And we are here for the prestige. That's why we go on to hunt. That's why we do what we do. Gain 15, 35, get back on your horse. We will gain 35 prestige there. That's what we need. We need less than 500 now. <laughs> is the first to spot its sharpened tusk. I think we should ride after it. 75 more prestige. Very nice. Is this scheme discovered? Eh, I'm not too worried about that. Against one of my courtiers, and not too worried about them. And an arrow lands beside me. Interesting. This must belong to someone. An intrigue challenge. I have high intrigue. It should go well, I think. <laughs> is the first to spot its sharpened tusk. I think we should ride after it. 75 more prestige. Very nice. Is this scheme discovered? Eh, I'm not too worried about that. Against one of my courtiers, and not too worried about them. And an arrow lands beside me. Interesting. This must belong to someone. An intrigue challenge. I have high intrigue. It should go well, I think. Here we go. Here we go. After, can I bring it down myself? Where are the odds? 14% that I can get it. Ford Huntsman, kill it. A random per Here we go. Here we go. After, can I bring it down myself? Where are the odds? 14% that I can get it. Ford Huntsman, kill it. A random participant dies, 15%. I think we'll go, we'll bring it down ourselves. Dude, are you serious? Are you? <laughs> Dude, it was like a 19% chance. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's twice now that we've died to animals. Now we have to take over as the boy lord. That's twice now that we've died to animals. Now we have to take over as the boy lord, the seven-year-old Lord Damien. Oh, man. Dang. Oh, man. Dang. That's not ideal. But that does put a little bit of a break in our plans. Um, but the good news is we will probably just kind of speed through this kid right now, get him up to about 16, I think. That Connington girl is our... What's your deal? That's very nice. The Connington girl is our betrothed. She is 11 years older than us. We're taken over as Lord Damon of Claw Isle. I believe he's an intrigue focus. Yes. Or a regent. And is there a ward we can appoint? Actually, we'll just keep it ourselves. We'll just keep it ourselves. We don't need a ward. It's a dangerous pastime. Click through all of these. And we'll come back to Claw Isle. We'll refocus in on our territory because we're just a little boy. 
Hmm, so our Castilian will need Lord Benethon to help us out. We'll assign you, Lord Clement, to be our Chancellor. Let me scoot up in my chair some. Here we go, here we go. Fixing my mic a little bit, I'm adjusting it. So some steward to be our Admiral, I think we're going to want. Hmm, so our Castilian will need Lord Benethon to help us out. We'll assign you, we'll assign you, Lord Clement, to be our Chancellor. Let me scoot up in my chair some. Here we go, here we go. Fixing my mic a little bit, I'm adjusting it. So some steward to be our admiral. I think we're going to want you. <laughs> and this is looking good. I wish Harold liked this. That's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. <laughs> so he's not our brother-in-law anymore. We've got our cousins, Coco. My bitch love, Coco. High Lordship. Now that is a good alliance. That is a great alliance. <laughs> That's quite, quite a lot. The Lannister Lord of Casterly Rock. Interesting. But we'll just keep it keep it how it is for now. Take a little sip of Celsius. So as a kid, I'm not sure if you can really do much. We can go meet my peers. Or meet the peers. Yeah, let's do that. We haven't been able to do that. We haven't played as a kid ruler. So let's go. Is this... Okay. Can I customize the route? Well, I guess I don't leave, so I guess not. We'll start it. We'll meet our peers. my uncle. Can I offer him a ward? Would that make him like me a little more? Me? I could send myself over there. Don't think I'll be doing that, though. It's windy as heck here in Albuquerque. Windy. Not as windy as it was yesterday, but we have one of those Velcro screen doors on the back. Back of the house, and it's kind of whacking back there, but I think. It's windy as heck here in Albuquerque. Windy, not as windy as it was yesterday, but we have one of those Velcro screen doors on the back, back of the house, and it's kind of whacking back there, but I think, I don't think it's picking up. <laughs> no one showed up, despite my invitations. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Nobody showed up. That's crazy. That is crazy. Lord Damon. Let me put him in my little notes right here. This is going to make... So he hates, he's going to grow up angry. He's going to be like Darth Vader. Tried to meet peers. No one showed. Lord <laughs> Gargon, he's ugly. You can be a learner. There you go. Gargon, I don't think so. We will name him... Roz. Raz. <clears throat> and now, of course, we'll check out. See if there's any... We could get a Malister. A giant Malister. And now, of course, we'll check out. See if there's any... We could get a Malister. A giant Malister. We might actually, uh, hold on. I like that, but not for you. <laughs> you don't, you don't get that, Ross. Plumpkin. On the other hand, I think, is the name suitable for giant. On the other hand, I think, is the name suitable for giants. Look, 11,000. <clears throat> I think that works out. I think that works out quite well for us. I think that works out. I think that works out quite well for us. So Plumpkin is betrothed to a giant Malister. And that'll, 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 that'll really help us in case any... Of our vassals or anything decides to get a little, a little squirrely. I still can't believe I tried to meet those peers and no one showed. I'm gonna end up raising a bitter child. And we are gonna just pick this speed up because we're just trying to get to where we are 16. And then I'll probably end the stream around then and we will probably pick back up with the Celticars for tonight's stream. I want to try and mix in some other houses. <clears throat> kind of like how I mixed in the Targaryens the other day. I did a little Rhaegar stream. Excuse me, I got a cough. We'll see that done. Absolutely we will. And can we declare war as a child? We'll see that done. Absolutely we will. And can we declare war as a child? And we were so close to us being able to establish that tradition. That's unfortunate. Can we declare war as can we declare war as a child? We sure can. We sure can. Declare war real quick. My dog's looking out the window. What's he doing? What that dog doing? There's nothing out there. Relax. And he's whining. Shut up. Um so as I was saying before my train of thought left me, um, oh, we're just gonna, oh, we're just gonna try and steam, steam straight ahead, try and get up to age as the Celtigar, but what I, oh, that's not what I was saying. I wanted to try and mix in a few other houses, because I do want to try and play it. One second. I 
I would like to try and get so we actually can hold more, which is nice. But <coughs> I'd like to try and mix in a couple. Of, I'd like to try and mix in a couple other family playthroughs, some shorter ones, like a one stream session, one kind of like that Rhaegar one, because I do want to end up trying to play every duchy and stuff. And I was thinking about one good way to do that was starting with just a bookmark, like starting with that Ned Stark bookmark and just trying to beat the rebellion and seeing what happens there and firing as many events as we can. Seeing maybe download a. Uh, oh, it took a ton. That must have cost a lot to to go across that. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Negotiated alliance. Absolutely. Absolutely. 6,500 more. Man, it is windy outside. Alright, so we got five prisoners. That's great. Lord Pearly, why are you so poor, brother? You, though, you look like you would like to give us money to be out of here. You, I hope you like being cold. <clears throat> Same with you. I hope you like being cold. But anyways, we take them on. And we are getting through the siege. But yeah, so I was thinking maybe doing a Ironborn one. A one time Ironborn, trying to get independent. Uh, thinking of doing the Iron Ones down in Dorne. Thinking of, and pretty much the same thing, trying to get independent from the Martells, creating either our own Lord Paramountcy or our own kingdom, something along those lines. And they just keep throwing themselves at us. Which is fine, we do not care. And since we're not, uh, we'll leave him right now. We'll leave Trex. We'll come in here. How many prisoners? Which is fine. We do not care. And since we're not, uh, we'll leave him right now. We'll leave Trex. We'll come in here. How many prisoners? Yeah, that's the ones we just had. But since uh, we should win the war here in a second. Once that gets to 475. But yeah, we'll think about something. I'd love to hear from anybody listening what we're doing. What they might like to see. Oh, I guess not. Why Lyra? Do you have any money? We're now allied with Old Town. Miss the war, and I'll just go ahead and give... Nope, we'll keep that for ourselves. I was used to the old uh, domain holding capabilities of the previous ruler. But this little lord will be able to hold two more. I guess there's a province open. Candle Tower, yeah. That must have been why we didn't take it right away, because that was an occupiable spot. That's fine. We've got a decent chunk right here. And if we could come across and get Mullery... Mm, no, I don't want to overextend too much. You can the traits, clean the pots, of course. So I'm an intrigue build that is... I think it's because I'm a kid, they don't want to give him a sexual orientation yet, maybe. We'll go lazy. I think that's probably going to be the... And I do lose that Malister Alliance. <clears throat> It's one of the, I think it's her, yeah. So I think when they get so I think when they get married, we'll probably get that alliance back. <clears throat> Which is gonna be a few years. It's gonna be quite some time. It's gonna be like fifteen years. That's alright, we're not too worried about that. Regency's messing around, doing some things. And honestly, we're just gonna bump that up a little. Alright, we are ten. It's got six more years, and we're cruising. Right now. You know, we'll just bump that up. You know, we'll just bump that up to max speed, anyways, because we have one thing we're trying to do here, and that's fly, get through some time. Trex is trying to gain some vassals. Is he trying to land himself? Um, no, I don't think so. On veto. Why do I have to spend prestige for this grubby little guy? No, I don't think so. That bastard. Okay, generous. We're still just cruising. We're 12 now. Shouldn't take too much longer. And what is this? Except... Cheeto's gonna become a knight. Good for him. Cheeto's gonna become a knight. Good for him. We'd love to see that. Alright. Someone, uh... Was getting down and dirty with it. Ah, oh, what is this dude doing, man? Stop. Stop. He's getting on my nerves. I should just, like... Oh, we're getting raided big time. There's not really anything we can do about it. That fiend. I will avenge him. I will avenge him. Becoming a rival with the whores. That's what we might do this evening. Push to Harrenhal. Destroy the Ironborn. Rival. Slash. Where are they going? They're going to hit there. Yeah, we're going to go Intrigue. We can go humble. It would, uh, yeah, we'll go intrigue. Dude, Trex kind of sucks. It's kind of being a pain right now. I can't lawfully imprison him. I don't have the gold for it. Well, so we'll just hold on to that. 
excuse me, a pain in my ass right now. Same with the horse. They're stealing all our vassals, all our gold. Are right, they coming across? Man, they're just raiding all of everything. Are right, they coming across? Man, they're just raiding all of everything. And I will raise all our men here. All our men here. Because if they come in here, I think we should be able to... Not messing around right now. They're just rampaging through our lands. Stealing everything. Good enough for me. Don't need to find others. <laughs> that was not great. Alright, and if they, those guys come in here, we can take them. That was just a huge stack of... <clears throat> that one house. My dog just barked. That other dog's barking. My dog just barked. That other dog's barking. But, we were 14. We should be 16 here before too long. And he's still barking. <laughs> and... Whatever, whatever. 15, and it's when we become 16... We will go ahead and just end the stream and save it for later. And like I said, I think we're going to try and take on the Ironborn after they uh, just raided our lands. Came in here swinging their meat around. And I missed that, whatever that was. <clears throat> but um, that will just about do it for us today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Anybody for chatting and hanging out. Um, and I will be back on later this evening, probably around 10 p.m. Central Time. We're coming of age. I'm a man now. We get flamboyant trickster as our perk. And we're not going to do any of this right now.